Hey folks, here's your video to supplement your homework. Um, so we're going to talk about how to bring a video into Photoshop, how to limit it, and how to export your frames. So um, we're aiming for around 13 to 16 individual images to place on uh, your uh, template disk that you had. Um, also, if you hear a, a dog moving about in the background, um, just Ignore it. I'll show you cute dog photos soon. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is I've downloaded a video, um, which I've gotten from YouTube. Uh, I made you a little sheet that you can uh, follow along with for the downloading process from YouTube. Um, so in Photoshop, I'm going to go to just open Photoshop and I'm going to uh, go to video frames to layers. You don't have to make a um, make a new document or anything because this will automatically make that document for you. So you can just open Photoshop and just go straight there. So let me find. Okay, so here's my video. Let me just go to open. Okay, so here, this part is your playhead. This allows you to see the part of the video, um, and this is where you can select. The part of the video that you want. So I just want to get a part where there's lots of different things happening. I'm just selecting a little part here. And I'm also going to say limit to maybe every every eight because I really want to limit this down a bunch. You may have to do this a couple times. Um, you know, for instance, if you bring it in and it's still like 170 frames, just keep, just do it a couple times until it, it limits down pretty, pretty low in terms of the frames. So I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to make me this new document. So, all right, even doing that, I still have about 40 frames. So don't mess with this part. Just You can just kind of ignore this. We can talk a little bit more about like what this is and what this is. These are your layers. These are your frames. These hold the, the layers, images. Um, so don't mess with this. Just focus here. So let's just play it. You can hit the play button or the space bar. Oh, also, it should automatically open this, but if it doesn't for some reason, go to Window, Timeline, and it'll it'll open this for you. Uh, this is the timeline. Okay, so let's just hit play, hitting space bar. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm just going to delete every other one. Oops, okay, I'm holding down Shift. I need to be holding down Command. So command allows you to not select things in order, but select multiple anything by just clicking. This one's pretty. I'm going to keep that one. All right, so I'll just hit this delete button. Yes, delete the frames. Okay, so I got about 20 now. So I'm just going to go through and, you know, I want something that kind of looks sequential. Um, this video is, you know, I, I feel like kind of any of these could sort of look like they're going from like one frame to the next. So I may actually I just really like this one. Um, so because I have 20 and I need about 16, I'm just going to kind of delete the ones that I think are like the least interesting. Um, let's see. Maybe, and or maybe I'll look for ones that are like kind of similar. So maybe I'll delete this one. All right, and then. And, okay, I'm going to keep this one because I think it's cool. Um, but I want to get down to like, you know, between 13 and 16 frames. So I may just kind of delete this whole block here. All right. And if yours is, you know, if yours is a more sequential image, um, just make sure that like you don't have like too far of a jump from one frame to the next. Okay, so that puts me at 14.
which I think I think is going to be okay for me. So um, you need 13 to 16. We have that template, but you can kind of arrange things however you want on that template, as long as it's sequential. Okay. So once you've limited down your frames, that looks pretty good still. Not too choppy. Go up to File, Export. You're going to go to Render Video. Okay, so um, those some of you are having problems with this. I think I figured out what the issue was. So um, just name them. And then you can do select folder or create new subfolder, which is nice. So you could do frames, go to your folder, what you have. You know, so you could just go to like your art and tech folder, and then it'll automatically create a subfolder in there called frames if you do this, or you could like make your own folder, whatever. You want Photoshop image sequence. Okay, this is the part that we gotta pay closer attention to here. So you wanna do 30 frames per second, okay? So make sure that's toggle down and select 30. That's going to export you 13 frames. Um, if you want to try like 50, it may give you some more frames, um, but just make sure that it's at 30. Otherwise, it may give you less frames than what you actually have. Make sure all frames is selected down here and then hit render. And then you should have, all right, your 13 frames. So I would say, like, definitely don't do anything under those uh, 30 frames. So you might want to try, like, 50. It'll give you more frames if you want more frames. But 13 is, like, exactly what we're aiming for, okay? And I have 14 frames here. Um, looks like maybe it left one out, but I need at least 13. So I'm just going to keep going with this. All right, so that's going to be your one image group, okay? So you need to repeat this process with three different videos, okay? So at the end of that, you're going to have three different like packages of images uh, inside each of those three folders you're, you're gonna have like your 13 images so you need to do this process three times okay now the next step that you need to do let's make a new document um, I'm gonna do a print document okay I want to make sure that it, the resolution's at 300 here so print document 300 Okay, um, I'm going to do 12 by 12. Create. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to be bringing in my images. Now yours is going to have, you can just go ahead and just drag in your image of that little template that we made. Unfortunately, I left mine in school like a bad kid. Um, I'm going to close this group so I have a little more space. All right, so what I'm going to want to do now is you have some options for how you want to edit this. The first thing is let's go ahead and let's find our images. So here's my frames. Okay, I'm going to open these all in preview. Open with preview. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to just hold down shift. So I'm going to select the first one, hold down shift. Select the last one to select all of these, and I'm going to go to Tools, Adjust Size, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit unclick Resample Image, and I'm going to scale up the resolution, and it's going to make my image smaller, but it's going to make it print ready. Okay, so that's what that's a really important part. Um, so you want to make sure that it says for all 14 images here, okay, and. You can select all of them again and just hit Command S and it will automatically save all of your images for you. So now they're print ready and I'm going to bring these into my print document. Now, if you want to edit them separately, all right, because they're all they're all going to be print ready, right? Here's your resolution right here. Um, you can just open them all. Let's go to open with. I'm just uh, control hitting control and right clicking. Um, you can just open them all in Photoshop if you wanted. The other thing that you can do um, is you can just drag them straight into this master document here. You'll have to kind of toggle off between your cursor and the move tool. 
is to place all of them. I haven't updated Photoshop. I think there's a, uh, I think this doesn't suck as much in the newer version. So if you, if it doesn't ask you to do this, great. All right, so in your layers, here's all of our individual frames now. So let's start with this one. Okay, what you gotta do now is you just need to kind of edit them down so that they're gonna fit on your, um, your disc here. Okay, so I just made myself this little circle to operate within. And you know, you have your template, we'll get rid of that eventually, but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of start placing them and then you know, towards the end of this process, I could start placing things like in a, in a more exacting way to kind of fit on this, um, this Zupraxis scope. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's, I'm going to just throw this underneath. Okay, and I'm going to work on this one. So the first thing I need to do is throw a layer mask on here. Okay, zoom in a bit. Okay, and you could probably scale these up a little bit and they'll still, still probably print out like, Okay, you know, we don't need something that's like incredibly crisp. So if you want these to be a bit bigger than like what you were able to edit, that's okay. Um, so we want to just make sure that we like keep them in order. So I'm just going to work on them in order. So the first thing that I did was I put a layer mask on it. Now I'm going to use my paintbrush tool. Oops, sorry. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my magic wand tool. I would highly suggest taking a video that has like a solid background color. Um, cause it's just going to make your life a little bit easier. It's going to make your editing process a bit easier. Okay. So I'm going to use this, this tool. Uh, you want to make sure when you're using this, this magic wand selection tool, all right, which is, uh, it may be over here. You can also use your magnetic lasso. Um, you want to make sure you're selected on the actual image because you want to select the pixels. This, this is like nothingness. It's just a mask. You want to work on here first to select the, the actual layer to select the pixels. Okay, that does a pretty good job for me. All right, um, if it's not working very well for you, uh, Command D is going to deselect. You can mess with the tolerance. So if you do like less of a tolerance, um, it will select like less. It'll, it'll have like more more tolerance for your selection. So I would say like kind of mess with this, like, you know, for instance, if I do 100, it's gonna like kind of super select everything. So like the more tolerance you have, the more of that like color that you're selecting, the more it'll find different variations of that color. So it kind of just depends like how, how much of this image you wanna clip. Okay, so Command D again is to deselect. All right, so I'm, I'm okay with this. All right, so what I wanna do now is, um, now that I've selected the pixels, I'm gonna click over to the mask itself and what I'm gonna paint on the mask. I'm gonna grab my brush, make it a little smaller, okay? And then I'm gonna use black. Black is going to take it away. I have some opacity. And you can also like mess with the opacity and flow of your brush to get some better effects. But I kind of want to just get like the big stuff done and then I might go in and kind of soften things up. Okay, so this is going to be like kind of jangly, right? It's going to have this like really pixelated look, which if you kind of like work with this, you can, you can make it work. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deselect. Okay, and I'm going to grab a... Um, so I think this is going to be fine for, you know, for me, this is going to be pretty small. This actually did a pretty good job of deselecting, but if you want to go in and you kind of want to clean this stuff up, there's a bunch of different things that you can do. So, um, you can, staying on the layer mask, you can go in with a smaller brush that has like zero hardness. So it's kind of like really so a soft brush. And... Kind of just like soften up these edges a bit if you wanted to, to make it like look a little cleaner. Okay, I'm just kind of painting, you know, and this is this is optional. Okay, so you can do stuff like that so it doesn't look as hard. All right, 
Um, other things that you can do. So if I go to the actual layer itself, I can put some um, effects on there. So, you know, I can do maybe like Powder glow is nice, so I can put like, I don't know, like a neon glow on the outside here. So increase the spread. The size here. Oh, and I need to do normal. There we go, opacity, add that backwards. Okay, so we'll do that, and then we'll just change the size, change the spread. Okay, so that kind of makes it look like a little, like a little nicer, because at least this has like a clean edge. All right, so the last part of your homework is to do what I just did for this one image with all of your images. And then if you want, what we're going to work on in class is, you know, you can start placing them. If you want to do multiple of the same layer, you can do Command-J. It'll copy your layer for you. Kind of start 